Hi folks, what I've got here is the Vigilant Trails Trekker 513 Compact Survival Kit, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So the idea to review some Vigilant Trails Survival Kits actually came from a viewer of this channel who suggested that I check out some of their stuff. And so this is the first of several Vigilant Trail survival kits that I'll be reviewing. So you can buy this on the Vigilant Trails website or on Amazon. I got it on Amazon and I paid right at $40 for it. So when you first get one of these kits, it'll come in an orange bag like you see here. It's not terribly exciting and it's not very descriptive of what's inside. And so hopefully you can see why I decided to start this video with the kit already out of the bag. But I did want to show it to you because it is part of the kit. Certainly you could store some gear in this bag while you use the tin to boil water or cook food or what have you. So it's a nice looking tin, seems to be pretty well made. And we're not even inside yet and we've got some stuff going on. We've got these two Velcro straps, keeping it nice and tightly closed. There's an integrated compass, which does work. And then they've even got a space blanket tucked up on the underside, which is kind of cool. So let's remove these straps. Got a sticker. So here's a close up view of that compass. And here's the space blanket. VT 513, Vigilant Trails, Be Prepared, Stay Prepared, Survival Kit Trekker 513. Now, Vigilant Trails is a company that seems to stand behind their product. I want to read you the description of this kit from their website because it's pretty cool. So it says, all Vigilant Trails survival kits come with our exclusive survival guarantee. In the event they are ever used in a verifiable survival situation, I'm not sure how you're supposed to verify a survival situation, maybe a police report or something. It does have an asterisk, maybe they explain that somewhere. We will replace the entire kit at no cost. That's pretty cool. It includes the six essentials for survival, fire, first aid, food, shelter, signaling, and water. Designed upon the Navy SEALs mantra of three is two, two is one, and one is none. Assembled in the USA. Now includes a rain poncho for wet weather survival for use in both hostile and non-hostile environments. Each piece has been individually field tested to ensure maximum survival. And then it has a buyer's guarantee. If our products ever fail to perform, we will buy them back. Keep trekking, life's an adventure. So yeah, on the surface, they seem to be a company who stands behind their product, which is always a good thing. So let's go ahead and pop the lid. And there we go. So right off the bat, I can tell this thing is packed extremely tightly. There's no room to spare, which means I'm probably not going to be able to add any gear to this kit without removing something first. So we've got the lid here, which could be used as a frying pan or as a crude signal mirror. And let's get into here and see what we've got. There's a zip tie, and I think there's another one right here yet. Yeah. So we got two orange zip ties. We got this thing. I want to be careful with that. Don't want to rip it. All right, then we've got a table of contents. Shows all the stuff contained in the kit. That's nice. And it looks like they've got some survival tips as well. Always good to have. Got some fishing information. And we've got a multi species tick ID card with pictures of common North American ticks. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that in a survival kit before. Then we've got pictures of poison ivy and poison oak. Poisonous mushrooms. It's pretty cool. This thing has a definite smell. It smells like a new tackle box, that sort of new rubbery smell of a new tackle box. That's what it smells like. And that's not a surprise because right on top is a fishing kit. Looks like they got some rubber lures in there. A supply of fishing line, some weights and some hooks. And then we've got some more fishing stuff. These are treble hooks. And they're in little foam padding to keep the hooks from stabbing stuff. That's nice. Let's see here. This thing is beautifully packed. It's almost a shame to unpack it. Got a little compass in addition to the one that was on the outside. That's cool. So two compasses. And we've got 
some surgical tubing. Looks like a couple feet. I'm going to pull out this table of contents just so I can verify what I'm looking at. So yeah, this is two feet of surgical tubing, which you could use as a tourniquet, among other things. And then here we've got five feet of 550 paracord. Not bad. Got a Dermasafe razor knife. Always good to have one of these. Got a ferro rod and striker. This looks very similar to the ferro rod and strikers that are included in the Life Gear survival kits. It's pretty small, but it would get the job done. Yeah. Oh yeah, that works good. We've got five pieces of cotton tinder to help make a fire. We've got a little first aid kit here. Almost pains me to open these things up. I really like the way they've got this thing packed. So we've got two packets of dental floss. That's pretty cool. Each pack contains 20 inches. We've got three butterfly closures. One, two, three band-aids. A moleskin. Two alcohol prep pads. And two sting relief pads. We've got a couple of coffee filters to help strain sediment out of water. There's something else in there. Let me see what that is. So here are the two coffee filters. And then we've got this. Is this the funnel? Yeah, this is a plastic funnel. There's two of them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, if you're going to use these coffee filters to filter out sediment in your water, it helps to have a funnel. That's very clever. We've got a whistle. <whistles> Sounds great. We've got 10 feet of heavy duty nylon thread. Not bad. We've got some more fishing tackle here. Looks like some leaders and swivels. Four safety pins. Got a pretty large sewing needle. And then next to that, they've got a pretty nice looking sewing kit. Look at that. It's really cool looking, I like that. It's very compact. Here's one of those orange streamers to help get someone's attention. We've got a surgical scalpel blade. So there's two razors. And then we've got some AquaTabs water purification tablets. There's four of them, so that'll purify four liters of water. And these expire in January of 2025, so they're still good. Got the classic P38 can opener. Can't go wrong with that. We've got a pencil sharpener, which of course can sharpen a pencil, but it can also make wood shavings to help start a fire. And we got a pretty large signal mirror with instructions on the back. Then we've got this big plastic thing, which is the poncho, I'm assuming. And then at the very bottom, we've got two stand-up water bags. Not bad at all. And then of course, we've got the tin, which you could use to boil water or cook food or what have you. And that's it. All right, so here's all the gear laid out from the Vigilant Trails Trekker 513 Survival Kit. You know, I'm sure some people are going to criticize this thing, but I actually like it. I like it a lot. And I like it for several reasons. First, you got to give them some credit. They packed quite a lot of gear into that tin. But also, I found this kit to be very refreshing for me personally, because I've reviewed a lot of survival kits on this channel. And after a while, you start seeing the same things over and over. So for example, I've seen about a million of these button compasses. Not very exciting. But when you see stuff like these funnels to help out with the water situation, or the mushroom card, or the tick card, or the relatively extensive fishing situation here, that stuff is exciting and refreshing, and it's what makes it fun for me to make these videos for you guys. But beyond that, this is a quality kit, and I say that because, again, I've reviewed a lot of survival kits, and after a while, you can kind of tell which companies are just making a product and which companies are actually trying to make a quality survival kit. And from the moment I opened this up and started unpacking it, it was evident 
that the people making this are actually taking the time to try to make a quality kit. Yeah, it's not huge, it's a compact kit. It doesn't have everything you could ever want. You're not gonna survive for three weeks in the woods on this kit. But for its size, I think it's pretty darn good. It's got some basic necessities that might come in handy in a pinch. And like I said, it's very evident that the people making this are trying to make a quality product and I think they deserve some kudos for that. Now, as far as criticisms go, you know, if I was building this kit myself, there are a couple things that I might do differently. I would reduce the size of the fishing gear and the sewing kit to save some space. And in that new space, I would add maybe a small pocket knife, some snare wire, and maybe some sunscreen. But that's just my personal opinion. If you asked a hundred different people how they would improve this kit, you would literally get a hundred different answers. There is no one way to make a survival kit. It's all very subjective. Now, ordinarily, I would add some extra gear to this kit to make it better, but it's a pretty tight fit in that tin, and there really isn't any room for extra gear. So I'm just gonna repack it and leave it the way I found it because I think it's pretty good as it is. Wow, that was quite a challenge to get all that stuff back in there. No wonder they include these Velcro straps. You really do need them to repack the kit. But anyway, this was the Vigilant Trails Trekker 513 Survival Kit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be reviewing more stuff from Vigilant Trails in the near future. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.